Here's a video explaining how sublimation works. Uh, the first step is going to be basically designing your piece. Um, in this case here we have the uh, sleeves, left and right, the front and back panels, side panels and the color and your uh, back pockets. You can, uh, in this process, that's where you're going to add all the colors, logos, images, and text. Um, and you take care of the uh, front zipper, which is going to be uh, used. And then the next step will be going into uh, special design software, where all these pieces now are uh, aligned and make sure that they are going to work and print properly. That's where you go into softwares like this. And then you make sure that the uh, file is going to end up looking somewhere similar like this. You're making space here for the uh, front zipper. And all the images now are backwards uh, because the uh, sublimation is actually going to turn them into the uh, correct orientation. Now the next step, it's going to be you know, taking that file which has all now digital uh, versions of each one of the pieces and going into a special software which is going to then communicate with the printer tell it exactly how those images work, how the colors work. Uh, that's, a, that's a process called RIP and it's a very uh, complicated process but looks somewhere similar to this. And this special software is the one that is going to be now working with the uh, with the printer to make sure that all those details work exactly as you want it. Now let's take a look at the printer and how that's uh, done. Now this is the uh, the printing process. This is done in a special uh, digital sublimation printer. It's using a special inks. Uh, you can see all the uh, four colors uh, that are used in the traditional printing. That's going to be your black, your magenta, your yellow, and your blue. And with all those four colors, you can get any color you want, uh, like this. You know, the uh, red is going to be a combination of yellow and magenta. The yellow is just purely yellow. Well, all those details here you see in there, the green, the uh, silver, all those different colors are obtained with the combination of the four basic colors. Now you can see the process is not very fast, but that ensures that the quality of the image is going to be extremely good. Uh, some other companies might do it uh, with a faster movement of the printer, but what that creates it's, uh, it's less details on the images and also they can also apply less quantity of ink so um, that's going to end up with a, a poor quality on the image. But with us there are no uh, cutbacks or you know no compromises on the quality. Now the next step will be the actual sublimation. That's where you take this special paper and into this special inks and they are transferred finally into the fabric. So that's what we're going to uh, see next. Now here's the uh, final sublimation process. You're going to have the fabric here, which is all white, and you have the uh, printed paper, which is backwards as I mentioned, and what you're going to do is you're going to apply pressure and heat into this paper, and that's going to make that ink that is on the paper gets transferred into the uh, fabric permanently. Uh, technically, sublimation means that. It uh, means going from a solid, which is what the uh, ink is on the paper, a solid, and going into a vapor uh, without going into the liquid phase. So it goes from solid all the way to vapor and then stains the uh, fabric. That's why it's called sublimation. And that's why it's so durable and so great. So now you're going to see the next part is going to see after it's done on the uh, sublimation press. And here it is after it is sublimated. You remove the paper. 
You can see all those nice colors, those details, into the fabric, then permanently. And that's how you do every piece. You're going to do the front, the back, and now the rest you'll see uh, the finished product.